Once you put the work in in the off season, you know you've made some improvements to your physique. And then as the fat starts to come off and as you start to get leaner, it's like unwrapping a present. So it's like seeing all your hard work being uncovered as you go. I think I fell in love with bodybuilding back when I was subscribing to an old fitness magazine called Oxygen. And I used to love how the girls, how fit they looked. I was always into athletics and anything to me that had a, a fitness look to it was always desirable. In thinking that I'm the only professional bodybuilder in the city right now, it was a large accomplishment, but it wasn't something that I set out to do when I first started bodybuilding. Um, I did it because the, the stage somehow was just calling to me. I knew that I needed to try it. And then once I did it and received the judges' feedback and the judges' critiques, I knew that it was something that I had to go all in for. Knowing that I've put the work in and it's paid off and I'm seeing the progress from coming into the gym, really having a goal, making sure that I was leaving nothing on the table, uncovering what I wanted to, setting goals, and then now that I can peel the layers away, I get to see what's under that. And that sense of accomplishment is huge. That and then I do love, I love the stage. So getting on stage, being there that day in my sparkly suit and getting my hair done and getting that crazy tan on that we get, that is definitely the best part for me. The hardest thing about this and the biggest struggle I would say is not the gym portion because if you really love to lift, coming here is therapy. The food is definitely the hardest part of it all. Dieting for this extended period of time, I really have had to dig mentally deep for sure. Finding a balance with bodybuilding in my life can be really hard at times. And other times it can feel pretty effortless. You know, once you get into a really good schedule, and if you can nail that down, every day kind of just starts to feel like Groundhog Day. And that's where you just thrive. You end up thriving in that. You're like, okay, repeat yesterday, because yesterday was a great day. And that's where the consistency piece really comes into play. So the more consistent you can be with bodybuilding, you're gonna reap the benefits that much more. I'm thankful because I have a lot of help in my life. I have a great family who's incredibly supportive. Without them, I would not be able to do this. My son is an athlete, you know, and I know he sees the de dedication that goes into this. Both of my parents are, you know, more active now. And if that means a longer life for them, great. And if it means that my son understands that when you dedicate yourself to something, that you can see it through, that you should see it through, and that you can pursue your goals no matter how big or small, those are the positives that I take from this, for sure. I hope that people see that through me, you can pursue your dreams and they're not out of reach. Getting into it is hard. You have to find a coach. You have to really understand the time commitments and the sacrifices that go along with this sport because it's not just a couple hours every day. It's basically an endeavor that takes up 24 hours. 